Welcome to the fourth and final video on working with academic language experts. My name is Gabrielle Fine and I'm the Director of Recruitment for ALE. I thank you for being part of our team and we appreciate your hard work. In this video, we will review the details of how to submit an invoice and receive payment. Timely payment is of the utmost importance to us, so please pay please, please close attention so that we have all the details we need from you in order to make the payment. We ask that you send one invoice to accounting at atclang.com on the last working day of the month for all the projects we've completed during that month. Invoices sent to other email addresses may not get to where they need to go in order to complete the payment. You can include any projects for which you've received an email from us stating that the project you're working on is officially closed. Please do not send multiple invoices for different projects completed in the same month. Please note that you will not receive a confirmation email that your invoice has been received, but if you send it to the correct address, I assure you that it has arrived and you do not need to follow up. Please include the project number, the date of assignment, a word count, the price per word, and the total for each project on the invoice. If your project does not have a project number, but you work directly with the managing editor, please list the managing editor next to the project amount. You can always log into your ALE portal in order to see a summary of your active projects. We make payments on a net plus 30 basis, which is the end of the month plus 30 days, and we generally make the payment on the first working day of the month. Any invoices that do not come in on the last day of the month will be delayed and processed with the following month's invoices. So please be sure to get your invoices in on time. It is your responsibility to, su to submit an invoice in a timely manner. We do not send out reminders for projects that have not been invoiced. We currently offer the following payment methods, PayPal, WISE, and any platform we can pay by credit card. For our Israeli language experts, we offer direct bank transfer. Invoices should include your preferred payment method and account details in order that we can make the invoice and make the payment in a timely manner. I recommend that you update your early profile so that it contains all the relevant payment information. Please be sure to do your research to see how much each payment process will cost you in terms of transfer expenses. We do not cover the cost of transfer expenses. If you do not receive payment for an invoice submitted on time after the first week of the, of the new month after the net plus 30 period has passed, please be in touch with us directly at accountingatclang.com. Likewise, if there's been a mistake and we've paid an incorrect amount, please be in touch with us directly. Now we will address a few issues which relate specifically to Israeli citizens. First, please make sure you're officially registered with the Israeli tax authorities and you're officially registered with Nikoi Maspa Makar. If you would like to use a third party system like Yol Sakhir, that is perfectly acceptable. If you are not set up with the tax authorities, we are unfortunately unable to make the payment. If you are tax exempt and also Patur, please submit a formal invoice or payment request in order to receive the payment. You must send a tax receipt of payment immediately upon receiving the funds. Please do not forget to do this. Please be in touch with an accountant if you have any specific question about how this works or about setting business up in general. I thank you for watching and we really appreciate all your hard work.